So I wanted to show you how to um, geotag your photos with Digicam. So here are the photos I took today. Um, I turned on my GPS somewhere around here and um, I did check before and my um, camera is about um, two minutes ahead of my GPS. So I'm gonna have to um, fix that. And um, as you can see over here, um, I loaded my GPX track already. So we go to image and geolocation. Here are all the photos that I have selected. I'm going to load the GPX file. <laughs> okay, there it is. I'm going to turn on an offset of subtracting two minutes. I'm going to turn on interpolation. And now we're going to click correlate, and that should add it to the photos. So 76 out of 84, that sounds about right. So I'll hit OK. So now we have, let's zoom in a bit more, huh? Okay. There we go. That's, uh, that was over here somewhere. Yep. All right. And there are all the pictures with their GPSs and all the way through this one. Okay. So that looks right. So I'll hit apply. Now you see here it's saving the changes to the files. And um, there we go, we're at 9% already. Um, they also have reverse geocoding here, which is where you didn't have the GPS coordinates, so you can kind of pick a spot and then add the GPS coordinates based on that. Um, so looking at the details tab here while it's saving the changes, this particular image looks like um, out of all the possible attributes um, that it could have gotten, um, my GPS is not recording some of these. Uh, it's possible that it's from my unit or it's possible that um, it just didn't uh, have speed because I wasn't moving at the time, I'm not sure. And so 39%, we're almost done here. I'm getting close to halfway. Doop doop doop. It's going a little slowly right now. But I guess that makes sense because it is editing very large files. Not to mention um, also changing the um, database as well. It's getting close to finishing. This accuracy, I wonder where that comes from, if that's something my GPS would have recorded if I had a different type of GPS, or um, if that has to do with how much it had to do um, correlation, I mean, um, interpolation. All right, so now that's done. So you can see all these pictures have been tagged. So now, if we close this out, we come here. Uh, we can go to the metadata tab and we should see see here this earth symbol has your location information so here it is it's been added right here so it was 192 meters above sea level and uh, 39 degrees north 77 degrees west so that's really neat and um, so it's pretty easy. It's a lot easier than the way I used to have to do it before with GeoSetter and Lightroom and all that stuff. So now I can go ahead and edit these pictures and um, continue on and see see what happens. In fact, just while I'm recording, let's take a look here and see what happens um, if I if I save save this out from raw therapy. Will it <coughs> retain its geo data or uh, with the JPEGs need to be um, re-correlated. Alright, 
So I'm just going to save it as is just for the sake of going along with this. So we'll go out to October and dump it in there. Okay. And now close raw therapy. Close raw therapy. And the JPEG also has geolocation information. Let's make sure it's the same. So 3977 and 3977. So that's pretty cool. That, you know, because um, at least at the moment, um, some of the data you can add here, like tags and description and information, does not survive the round trip from raw therapy. So it's nice to see that data does survive the round trip. All right, well, thanks for watching, and um, keep an eye out for the next time I put some tips on um, photo photography flows within Linux.